Hello. No sound. Yeah, I can see that there is no sound. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Um, do we have sound now? Yes. I believe we have sound now. Um, sorry for that. <clears throat> no sound. Sorry for that. I believe the sound is back. You know, I believe the sound is back. And you are welcome to this program. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. And uh, good night to some of you, depending on where you are. You are welcome to this program. While you are joining us, invite other people to join. If you are joining, invite others to join. We are only going to be here for less than an hour because we have <clears throat> a very, very important, you know, things that we need to relate to you. Important information, such as the secrets of a bubago. Do we have sound? Do we have sound now? O okay, yes, the sound is back. So that information that I want to relate to you this evening, this evening, this morning, or this afternoon, depending on where you are watching from, it is a very, very important information. So share this video invite other people to join i believe that we are having sound and the 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 broadcast is not cracking if you witness any crack kindly inform me for us to do something about it because i have i witnessed that yesterday i could not see your comments and uh, it was uh, very difficult for me to know that the broadcast was cracking but uh, i can I am watching your comment through the phone. So if you are experiencing any crack or any difficulties, kindly inform me via the comment section. So great beer friends all over the world, I am here to inform you that, you know, our people, I want you to watch this video that I am going to show you now. Let's pay attention to this video so that we will understand what is going on that our people are actually waking up they are responding which is very very important that you know they do this in order to secure their lives in order to make sure that they are safe wherever they are because we cannot continue to be in the lake while the soap is going into our eyes because that is exactly what is going on in nigeria our people are in the lake and the soap continue to go into their eyes but I am so happy today that they are waking up to know that they need to react, that if you do not do something, something will never happen. And that is exactly what our people have risen up to do in order to make sure that all this heinous crime committed against them is going to stop by Hope Uzodimma. And Hope Uzodimma, I should inform you, <laughs> after you watch this video, I am going to show, make you to understand exact reason why you are being killed in Biafra land and the reason why and Ebubagu is created and what Ebubagu is standing for I am going to tell you but for now let's go to this video this is the headquarter of Ogu West local government area of Imo State can imagine the millions of youths both Ogu East and Togo West. They said no to Ebubago. Our governor is trying to kill the whole boys. I think you say no to it. Today it must stop. Ebubago must go. Anybody that can answer Ebubago now, it should be dead. 
Look at the entire road. Everywhere is blocked. Everywhere is blocked. Can you imagine shut down? Shut down, shut down. Shut down, shut down. In the west and all east. Shut down, shut down. Nobody is going up. Nobody is coming out. Look at what is happening. This is the local government headquarters. Look at what is happening. I mean, lots of people. Yes, everybody's angry. What's happening? Everybody must go, they must go, they must go. You can read it, you can read it very well. Everybody must go. Yes, that is what is happening. Everybody say no to Ebubago. The so-called governor of the states is killing the people he's supposed to govern. He was supposed to be the number one security to take care of. You can imagine it. You can imagine what is happening. Millions of youths. Millions of youths. This is the head. Police headquarters, Ogu West. This is the police headquarters, Ogu West. This is it. Okay, back to it. What you just saw, it is a video of our people protesting that they are tired of being killed. And this is exactly what they're supposed to do long time ago, that they were neglecting and undermining, or maybe they are scared that when they come out, they will be killed more. But of course, you can see that whether you are out, whether you are in, you will be killed, of course. So it is better that all of them will come out onto the street and, you know, show their grievances. Show the world their grievances, exactly what they are going through. You show the world that you are tired of being killed. This is how, this is the height of it. Because there is a how there is how much you can push a person and expect them not to react. But when you push a person to their limit, you will find them reacting. And that is exactly what is happening now in Biafra land. Our people are waking up and they are reacting. And the Bubagu must cease to exist. I am going to tell you a little uh, um, a, a, a brief secret about the Bubagu. Do you know Ebubagu is like a fraternity? Ebubagu is like a fraternity. And of course, you know that during the young age of Hopu Zodemma, Hopu Zodemma was a member of a fraternity. Do you know that? So Hopu Zodemma now created that Ebubagu, which was introduced by Devo Mahi. Because in, in the creation of a Bubagu started with Devo Mai. And if you look at the activities of Hope, Uzodema, and Devo Mai, you will you know, understand that their activities is similar to each other. 
whatever they are doing, they know what they are doing. They know that they are doing it only to kill our people. Only to kill our people. Hope Uzodima is a member of a fraternity. I am telling you a factual information. And he is killing every opposition boys that is not a member of his fraternity through a bubago. And if you don't understand it, I want you to begin to investigate. Start investigating whom the Opus Orima is killing. He is killing opposition members of fraternity, which is the same people he is hiding under a bubago. There is a saying that said, I got him one idea, I can't can't go on my own. Opus Orima was a big bandit and a criminal when he was a, at young, even now. And he enjoyed killing. And that is the reason why he pay one million for each head. He pay one million for he, each head that is killed in Biafra land. He pay a bubago one million. That's what he promised them. Because he's a member of fraternity. And hope Uzodema has been killing. He has been killing from the age. From his high school days. He has been killing people. So killing people is his hobby. Killing people, he find it fun. That is the reason why you must take extra measure to defend yourselves. And uh, while we are tackling this killing in Biafra land, the same way we are calling on all of you who are, you know, into fraternity, you know, it is your business because all of you, you have violated, you know, the code of all this fraternity by using it to commit different crimes or the other. I want all of you to know that Hope Uzodema and the Bubagu is a fraternity. And they are using a Bubagu, hiding under a Bubagu to kill you. And those that I am talking to, of course, you know what I am talking about. Whether you are or you are not, who the old Buzodema is killing is our people, is our future soldiers. If you are indulging into criminal act, if you are killed, I don't care. That is one thing that I am telling you. If you are engaging yourself into criminal activities in Biafra land, if you get killed, that is your own baby. All you need to do is to make sure that you do not engage yourselves into criminality because we do not defend the criminals. We don't defend criminals. We don't defend people who does not listen to a command or instruction. If you are a criminal in Biafra land, if you are killed by any of these security operatives, that is your own problem with them because we are fighting for the restoration of our dear land and to make sure that corruption ceases to exist in our land. We are not promoting corruption. We are not promoting evil. We are not promoting any some any sort of criminality. But bear it in mind. The reason why Hope Uzodema is killing randomly because Hope Uzodema is a member of a fraternity. Hope Uzodema is still living his school days inside politics. That is what he is doing. He enjoys killing. He started it at a very young age. He's a bandit. That is the reason why Fulani chose him. Because they will check your history before they will choose you. And that is the reason why they find it difficult with Peter Obi. Because Peter Obi does not have history of banditry. And what I am telling you this afternoon, this evening, this morning, is a reality of life. If you go to, if you take it to the bank, it will cash. I want you to make sure that you follow everything I am telling you. Follow everything I am telling you. You will understand that I am telling you the beautiful or ugly truth. They will never support Pito B because they know Pito B is just a stingy man. 
He is not a bandit from his young age. That is what is going on. And the reason why they will never support Peter Obi, the reason why they, they are locking his supporters out of the hall is number one. They are locking his supporters out of the hall because they have seen that Peter Obi is taking over the everything. That Peter Obi has won the election. Even if you look at the statistics, if you look at the campaign, if you look at everything, Peter Obi has won the election. I am not promoting him. I am not promoting any of them because all of them are criminal together. But at the end of the day, there is a truth that you don't want to hear that I must tell you. Whether you like me or you don't like me, that truth I will tell it to you. What you are seeing right now happening in Nigeria, in Biafra land to be precise. Fulani is doing everything because they know that Peter Obi will win the election. The same reason why they refused to release Mazen Namdekano on the 28th of June. And they actually proposed for Mazen Namdekano to be moved to Kuja prison. Do you know that? How many of you are aware of that? That the judiciary proposed that Mazen Namdekano move to Kuja prison. To wait for November, so that they, they because they have planned for invasion of Kuje prison. I know that so many of you are not paying attention. You are not following. They are we were proposing. If you know this um, leadership in the DOS, you should go and thank them. If you know leadership in the DOS, you should go and thank them and appreciate them today. They wanted to push Mazen Namdekano after the 28th of June to Kujé prison. The Kujé prison, we were preaching all this while. In the last 12 months, we've been calling for this government to take Mazen Namdekano to correctional facility where the Mazen Namdekano will have access to people. We have access to medical. We have access to a lot of things. They refuse. Do you know? And I want you to know, whatever I tell you, whatever I tell you, make your inquiries. Make your inquiries. If you come back and you find out it is a lie, and then you will just believe that everything I have ever told you is a lie. They pro, they will, the, the, the come what was proposing for him to be moved into correctional facilities. Why? Because that was exactly what the people in Asorok, the cabals in Asorok, passed to the judiciary to propose. If not that the DOS, the leadership of this struggle, you know, said no, let him continue to be where he is. They will not come and tell you that. Of course, they wouldn't come and tell you that. My right source told me, and I, for you, for your information, I don't know anybody in the DOS. I don't know anybody in the DOS. But my information source, just like I told you before the day of the, you, you know, a week before the court date of Mazen Namdekano, that they will not give him bail. That uh, the cabal in Asorok, they have prepared a, a, a this, um, Verdict they're going to read in the court. I told you, was that not truth? Did you see anything different from what I told you? And the reason why they did it, I told you, it is because they, they believe <coughs> that Mazen Namdekano will come out and support Pitobi. And that is the reason why we made it clear that we are not politicians. And the reason why they're keeping Mazen Namdekano there. They kept Mazen Namdekano there. That is the second reason. Second reason. The second reason why they were keeping him there, it is because they believe that keeping him there, while their agent like Dev Omahi Pito, um, military, and uh, who is this? Uh, oh, Puz Odimba, that they will continue to kill you. If Mazen Namdekano is outside, because he, he is a voice of reason. 
He is a perception shifter. That is the reason why they have to keep him there. So that they will continue to kill our people. Because they know that if Mazen Namdekanu is outside, all this criminality of killing our people, it will not be like that. You will not kill his people. They are keeping him there. Have you ever imagined, why is it since 12 months ago, our people has been killed every day? Every day by day, the killing is increasing. The killing spree, spree is increasing in Biafra land. They left him there. They make sure that they haven't reached their peak. They haven't reached the, you know, the number of men, young men that they have to kill. They haven't reached that uh, stage yet. That is the reason why they have kept him there. And while they are killing you, they are reducing the population that might vote to for Peter Obi. I want Peter Obi to be very, very careful. Because, you know, his campaign is bringing death on our people. And he's not recognizing these things. He is not recognizing these things. Our people are being killed to reduce the population that might vote for you. Active people. Why is it only the active men that they are killing? Because they want to rig the election. I know that you will win the election if he goes to free and fair. Peter Obi will win all these candidates that you see today. He will win them if the election goes through, through, through um, free and fair. But they do not want it. And that is the reason why I am telling you that they do not want any evil man. And that is the reason why I am telling our people, oh yeah, Duraga had you, we are stop forcing the relationship. Stop forcing the relationship. <clears throat> and I want to tell you today, anybody who will rise up to tell you there is no election in Biafra land, that person is a criminal. Anybody that will rise up to tell you there will be no election in Biafra land, believe you me, that person is a criminal and he is part of your predicament. He is part of the reason why you are being killed. Believe you me. Because there must be a reason. They will create a reason, a narrative that somebody needs to push. <clears throat> so that it will justify their action of killing our able-bodied young man. That will be the justification they are going to give. That they are disrupting election. They are disrupting democracy. They are disrupting INEC. That is exactly what they are going to tell the world. That is the reason why they are deploying military. Of course, so many of you does not want to understand or pay attention to see what exactly is going on. But believe you me, this is exactly what is going on. Anybody that will come and tell you from now on up onwards that there will be no election in Biafra land, hold that person accountable for the deployment of the military into Biafra land. Hold that person accountable for the killing of our people in Biafra land. Why? I am going to explain it to you. Number one, if you look at the statistics, who is winning the election according to the statistics? Peter Obi. And uh, there is something that you need to understand. They will are uh, pushing a narrative so that the when IPOB will say, you know, when it will look like IPOB is the one saying no election. So that when they rig election, even when Peter will be win, they will rig the election. And they will tell Peter will be, your people say there is no election in Biafra land. That's why you lose. The reason why you cannot preach against no election in Biafra land is that there must be a revolution. There is a political revolution that is about to take place. Political revolution is about to take place. That if, if you start saying no election in Biafra land, you are going to jeopardize that political revolution that is about to take place. I know so many of you might not understand what I am saying. 
But whatever I am telling you, make sure you pay attention to it. Make sure you pay very good attention to what I am telling you. There are some information that we will not display, we will not be able to make public. That is the reason why I am telling you what I am telling you. So be very, very careful in your utterances. Be very, very careful in your utterances about this uh, upcoming election in Nigeria. Because that upcoming election is our freedom. If you try to act like you want to boycott it, if they, they, will pull, they will impose it on you, the rigging and the disruption. They will impose it on you. They will say it is you. And that is the reason why enemies is using the infiltrator. That is the reason why we have infiltrators. <coughs> and these infiltrators we have, they are working with the agendist. Let me be honest with you. <laughs> if we are able to, you know, play a diplomatic role in this upcoming season 2023, Fulani and their activities will be exposed in Nigeria for the whole world to see. Biafra is a step away. Biafra is a step away. Don't be deceived by somebody who will collect money from opposition politicians. To, to, you know, it is not as if if you boycott election in Biafra land, it, it does not make any difference. But the reason why I am preaching against it, it is we should not give them a reason to say it is us to stop the revolution that will take place in politics. Reason it with your, we reason it. Seek you first the wisdom and every other thing shall be added unto thee. Reason it with your mind, with your, you know, with your inner self, not with your stupidity, not with your, the, those who, that collected money and driving cars in Europe. Those that when they start telling you what you want to do, <coughs> they attract money, your money. They will use it and drive car and be driving new cars in Europe. Which we are coming to them this evening. We are coming back to them this evening because when we keep quiet, we draw a line for them. And they will think that we are not watching. We are watching very closely. But we, we are doing the needful because our people are dying. Our people, we are dying. Don't allow anybody to disrupt this revolution that is about to take place. Don't allow anybody to put the blame on you. Do not allow anybody to put the blame on you. Why did this, those people who are claiming that they are your spokesperson, <coughs> why were they not the one who negotiated whether Mazen Nam the Khan was going to be transferred into Kuje prison after to 28th of June? Why were they not aware that Mazen Nam the Khan was supposed to be transferred into Kuje prison? And he was going to be killed by this bandit. That was a projection. That is the reason why you need, to, you need to use your head. You need to stick to the command of the leadership. Don't mess around. This time around, it is a very, very you know, sensitive time. This is a sensitive period of time that you don't need to mess around. Anybody that is not following the order of the leadership, that person, anything that happens to you, be you in Biafra land or anywhere, anything that happens to you, you are on your own. You will be on your own. We are not going to be mourning every death that uh, people die in Biafra land anymore. We are not going to be mourning them. Mourning them. Because if you want to leave, stick to the command of the leadership. 
They will never mislead you. They will never misguide you. What you are doing is bringing jeopardy, is putting what we are doing into jeopardy. It is putting what we are doing in jeopardy. And that is the same reason why after they failed, do you know what happened? Did you know that the infiltrators sold a narrative recently? Do you know that the infiltrator made a move recently? I am going to get that details of that thing they did. You know, I am going to get the details this evening. And I am going to bring it. I don't want to talk about it until I have that evidence in my, in my hands. Until I have the evidence in my hands, I will not talk about it. You people does not follow the criminal. You people does not follow what we are doing. All of you, so many of you, you will go home, relax, waiting for who will say, waiting for where there is gossip. You go there, you hear gossip. You will be filled <coughs> with gossip for the day. That is what many of you are waiting for and doing. Where there is gossip, you will go and listen to that gossip. That is not what we are here for. We are here. If I must tell you, if I should be honest with you, we have done everything that we're supposed to do in this struggle. Do you know what is time? What time is it now? It is time that there must be a revolution in politics. There must be a revolution in politics. And who is going to trigger that revolution? What is going to trigger that revolution? It is this 2023. They are planning. They are planning. And uh, having, having it that we have exposed their plans in advance, do not wait, do not make yourself to be the one they will say it is because of you. I know that I am talking to intelligent people, not idiots. Not people who reason from their ends. I am talking to intelligent people. Do not make yourself to be the reason why they will say it is you. That is the reason why it happened like this. The same way they will use because they will say it is you. That is the reason why they are tell, sending military into our land. In case if you are not aware, be aware right now. We are not here for political correctness. We are here not here for power tussle. We are not here to say um to say hey, he is the one doing it. Listen to the leadership given to you by the man who introduced this particular struggle to you. This particular one we are in this era. Many people have come and gone. But there is a one in this era led by Mazen Namdekano. Listen to that leadership. They will never lead you astray. That I can assure you. They will never lead you astray. There are some decisions you might see. You might not understand it. You might see it as a, it is a, because you don't know what time is it. That is the reason why. It is not everything that you need to be exposed to because you don't know anything. You are not following the, you are not reading in between the lines. You are not understanding what is going on. We are done with everything we are doing. We are waiting for these things now that is unfolding to take its course. If I don't come and tell you that, do you know that Mazen Namdekanu was supposed to be among those in the, in the Kujé prison? Were you aware? Were you aware? Of course, you are not going to be aware. You weren't going to be aware. And the reason why I haven't told you that because my intel, I haven't contacted my intel in the for a, for a while. I have never, I haven't contacted them. I was surprised hearing this. I was very, very surprised hearing this. that they propose for him to go there. 
so that now they already know that the terrorist is coming to that prison. When he will be there, they will come. <laughs> Nigeria. Nigeria. <sighs> but what I am, I am here warning you, do not try to make yourself to be the scapegoat. Don't make them to point a finger at you in come 2023. Anybody telling you no election in Biafra land is a criminal. They have collected money from another party. And I will speak it. I am on a neutral ground. I will speak it the way it is. If that person tell you no election in Biafra land, ask him, what are we going to achieve with no election in Biafra land? Number one, after we boycott the election in Biafra land, what will be the next? And what is their target? Most important thing that you need to ask that person, what is the target if we manage to boycott it? Are you paying attention? It is a very important question you must ask. Don't this do not desist yourself from asking that question. Do not do not run away from that question. <laughs> ask that person, what are we going to achieve? Because if you say that we are going to use a approach, you will give us the result of this a approach. What is going to give us? Okay. If you say we are going to use a B approach, you are going to tell us the result of this B approach so that we will know what type of energy we are going to channel towards it. If they are not able to tell you the reason why there will be no election in Biafra land, they told you that there, there will be no election in 2023, which I, you know, I agree. They told you that they will rig election in 2023, which I agree. They told you that, you know, at the end of all these things, Fulani will make their own selection. I agree. Then why then are you saying no election? Because they want, they want even the cabals. They want cabals to blame it on IPOB. They want our people to blame it on IPOB. They want the world to blame it on IPOB that your candidate could not, you know, go through because IPOB say no election. I can tell you the reason why you should not support politics, but I cannot tell you not to go and uh, not to go, not to, I cannot tell you to boycott the election. I can tell you the reason why all the candidates, three of them, <coughs> the reason leading, leading candidates, I do not have faith in them. I can categorically tell you the, that I don't have faith in three of them. But I will come and tell you exactly the truth. You cannot boycott election. You cannot. Because that election must take place. If that election did not take place, <laughs> and while some people, some people is already on social media telling you that it must not take place, do you know what you are doing? You are making the job of the criminals. You are making the job of the cabals easy. And the last time I checked, we must put them into a situation where they will not know how to come out. They will continue to be under pressure and make mistakes. You are making their job easy. The job of manipulators, the job of the cabals that are killing you, you are making their job easy. I know so many of you, because you are intoxicated by the lies and activities of the infiltrators, that is the reason why when I say these things, you will not understand it. Or you have already a, <coughs> a premeditated response towards to your brain. 
that will, you will say to yourself, no, this man, this guy is talking nonsense. I know. <laughs> but the most important thing is that one thing you should be aware of, you should not forget. You should not forget that you are making the job of these cabals, these evil people that is putting your life in danger, these evil people that is killing you, these evil people that is depriving you of your right as a human being, these evil people that is depriving you of freedom of movement, association, integration, anything, you are making their job very easy. And you are bringing more of your people to hate you. The people that believe that you are working to save them, you are calling on them to hate you more. Because they will see a way to convince them that these are the miscreants. They will call you miscreants again. That made Peter be not to win. You shouldn't interfere. Let all these people who believe that they can get what they want to get through politics, let them see for themselves that you can only take a horse to the stream. You cannot force that horse to drink that water. One thing for sure, you can take a horse to the stream, but you will never force that horse to drink the water from the stream. And that is something you should bear in mind. Put it at the back of your, at the back of your mind. Because at the end of everything, every if you we finish what we are doing in this media space, do you know the people who are going to, you know, feel it? Hello. Is it from my mic? I can see no sound. Yeah. Okay. So what I am trying to say is that I don't know where the sound left me behind to be under pressure and make mistake okay what i'm trying to say is that i don't know where the sound okay. left me behind be no i i think i stop when they con say. you place them under pressure and make mistake and that is what we're supposed to be targeting we continue to place them under pressure I, I think I stop so that they will continue to make mistake and that under pressure is that we have known their plan we have mastered their strategy. We know what they want to do because the whole world is supporting P2B, which is which happened to be Biafra, regardless of all the criminal he's done against our people, regardless of the way he is rejecting every of our people, but I allow them to go and see. I say that na igu iji gide wata iji gide wata from siya putanoko obalone eje noko. Allow that oku to roll that water so that the water and woman oku na roll. Next time, you don't need to call the water back to come out from the fire. 
Ibe kaya kwe nyi kwa yondu ki miye buya. That is the most important thing that you people need to understand. Ini diri iba kwe nyi kwa yondu ki miye buya. Ibe kaya kwe nyi kwa yondu ki miye buya. So, I my advice this afternoon because I am beginning to round up because I need to go out. My advice this afternoon is for you not to call for any election boycott in Biafra land. Do not call for any election boycott in Biafra land. Let those who think that Nisifa Kage will bring um, on each other. No, Nisifa Kage will bring on each other or um, bridge. Let them, or London Bridge, let them come out in 2023. Do what they want to do. And we will see and watch their result. But be, hear it from me. Hear it clearly. Anybody that will tell you otherwise, that person is a criminal. There is a revolution. There is a revolution that is going on. It is not actually the revolution that people will gather on the street. That revolution, it will start from the top. Hey, that revolution is going to start from the top now because we have given them the gospel, the manifestation of the gospel that you've been giving them prior to the time Mazen Nam the Kanu started this gospel. The manifestation is now, and we will allow it to manifest. You know, for them to feel it, for those who are ignorant of this gospel to understand what we are talking about. That is the reason why I say, if you continue to bring a child out of ref from a fire, to stop going towards the fire, if that child continues to go towards the fire, allow that child to touch the fire so that just allow that fire to burn the child a little bit. So that next time when you are not around, the child will not go. And I'm going to many people not gonna get a funny may find one age, you know, nothing I need because I'm a window where they may fed in this year. They will not understand. Oh, something that you people need to put at the back of your mind that revolution that we are calling, that revolution that you are seeing, it is taking a, a different dimension. It is taking a different dimension. 2023 is a day of revolution. 2023 is a year of revolution. Very clear. If you doubt it, you will fall. Because you cannot stand in the way of our freedom. We have crossed a Rubicon. And I am very 100% sure of what I am telling you. In case if you are not aware, I am 120% of what I am telling you. This is not, I am not telling you because tomorrow I will tell you donate money to me. I am not telling you because I, I am uh, uh, gaining anything from this. I am telling you because I love you. I am telling you because I consciously love your neighbor as you love yourself. I have begun to love myself. I am telling you because I love myself. If you cannot understand the meaning of I love you, I love myself, man. I am not part of those self-hate, those who hate themselves anymore. I am no longer in that category. I am decolonized. I am emancipated from mental slavery. I'm no longer there. So I am telling you as a free person, as a free mind, what is about to take place is what we've been preaching over the dec over a decade. And that then is exactly what is about to take place. And be very, very careful that you will not be the one to jeopardize it. Anybody that will want to jeopardize this will fall. Regardless of where you are, write today's date. Write it today's date. This is not a... Um, I see, I saw. <laughs> this is a reality. Anybody that will want to stand in the way of this revolution will fall. This is not that you are ranting from Europe or a place of unreachable where you cannot be rich. We are not calling for anybody to fall. We are 
actually we want everybody to be okay <laughs> but ijiji nada ni ye na eso ozu ana ijiji nada ni ife ona eso ozu ana na ka oge bel nwe 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 ba ye ni ma pati be kwere nwe 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 kuchie ya be very careful this is a most sensitive time this is a time of diplomacy this is not time of ya 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 this is no longer the time of ra ra ra. Do not spoil the hard work that you have put on in the last decade. Do not spoil, destroy the hard work that you have worked in decades. This is no longer the time of ra 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 talking anyhow. This is the time you need to read your lips. This is the time you need to know what you, you have to say. This is the time of articulation and brainstorming. The time of articulation and brain, brainstorming so that you will not say something that will jeopardize what you've been waiting for. Because the time we are waiting for is fast approaching. It is in our backyard, the time we are waiting for. All we need to do is to make a right choice. If you make a right choice, then you will transition into that time. You need to transition into it. You cannot just walk into it. You cannot just, you know, you need to transition into it. But you need diplomacy. <laughs> the whole world is watching you. Even Obama is watching you. Because even if he was not a human being, we have been giving him his dose. You know, we've been giving them their dose, their doses. And they could see their utterances, their mistakes. In 2023, it will be like photo in the eyes of all of them. And that is the time we have to engage. I see a comment here. I can I might not be able to see your okay. I can see a comment from you this side. Okay. Somebody say uh Mazi, let me go to Facebook. So Ma Fabian Zubio Konko Mazi, did you know that Simon is now playing a double game right now from his broadcast? He was calling his group to exist themselves from anything got to do with Odin Kemma. And he was telling them that they should get ready for the coming of Biafra in 2023 because he has understood the gospel, IPOB leadership was preaching all this while. Could you imagine how that idiot is now trying to hijack the glory? That guy is a big time criminal. We are following him. You don't need to worry. You don't, it, don't let every any of his activities stress you because his activities, you know, most of them are inconsequential. When you see me, myself, not talking about him, you should know that there is something I am following. And uh, once I gather that thing I am following, I come back. Or there is very important thing, the pressing things that is bigger than infiltrator that we are following. <laughs> so don't worry. We know his double agent game. Uh, you know, you know there is ukwaluo gioda. That is one thing you should understand. Ukwaluo gioda. Any time <laughs> that he do something that you know that need to be addressed <laughs> we are there live and direct to address it the fact that we are keeping quiet does not it means that there is very pressing issues that we need to follow to show you that we are doing massive defense massive attack that's what we are doing we are not only relying on on we are playing you know we are do fighting double 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 face we are fighting from the front and from the back the infiltrators 
and the the the, 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 the agendist. Those are the people we are fighting, and we are formidable, and we will continue to be formidable. But now we need diplomacy more than anything else because diplomacy is the only thing that will make us to win. We see diplomacy, and that is what we need now. Do not play with that diplomacy. Do not play with that brainstorming. That is what will make us to win. But I am calling on our young people. I am calling on our young people. Whether you are a young guy, a young boy, I am calling on you. It is time for you to start behaving yourself. It is time for you to be start behaving yourself, our young people. It is now time for you to start behaving yourselves. If you don't have anything to do out there, go to your house and stay. Go to your house and stay. The blood suckers are all over the place looking for who to devour. Go and secure yourself one way or the other. In as much as we are seeing them killing you, make sure you don't make yourself available for them to kill you. It is very, very important. As you know, because we are seeing many of them just like this video that I am about to show you, I am not. I want to show this video very, very, very quickly. Let me put it back. Three. I hope you are seeing what is going on there. Which is the other one? Cause on the hand, I'm going to be So how the three? It is just, just this is. Oh, no, no, Robert, Bora. How did them matter? Not machine. Okay. Babu, Babu, Babu. Oh, so so hang cam. How can you roll? How can we do it? It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. You can't just reduce. I'll see you, but you're full. But you're not going to worry. You're full. So let me <coughs> try to leave it. Okay. Let there is something. Okay. These guys. Uh huh. At least you can't do it. Tata. Guys, go and. Are you listening? Put out with the phone and our phone. How much are you? How about here? You don't have block. Are you listening? How about how about the Jesu here? What they watch as oh, he bought my own as well. Oh, no, 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 I think I don't have a good. <laughs> okay, I am going to leave it here because did you hear the last word? Do you know why? Because Nanda terrorize villages. If one day how about local, I had a Zulia men came, men came, and men came. So, this is a under abundant canyon. Ometuimi, Ometuana. 
Uru aduro ni isi azu. Nda wana ati isi azu. Uru aduro de. There is no beef or there is no soft meat in on in the head of a, a fish. Because what you are doing, what you guys are doing is jeopardizing our activities. It is jeopardizing our activities. It is jeopardizing everything we are doing. We cannot be coming here to cry for everybody, anybody that died in Biafra land. Then some people, you know, these people will commit crime. Now, when when this agent, killing agent in the likes of Hope, who's the man, the Bobago, they will not target the criminals to, to stop them. They will not target the criminals to stop them. You know what they do? They target the innocent because they know that the criminals will continue to create the reason why they will be killing the, they will be doing their bidding. They are the, the allegiance, the pledge to <coughs> their masters. That is the reason why they will not target the criminals. This is communities target, targeting the criminals while the government is targeting the innocent. Why? <laughs> Why is it so? Why? This is now, I know there is a, there is a, there are criminals everywhere. You know, there is no place where there is no criminality. But it is the, it is the duty of a government to tackle criminality, right? to take those people into correctional facility or to take them through judiciary and send them to correctional facility and give them their a punishment according to the law. But the government is not doing that. That is the reason why communities will take it into their hands to bring jungle justice. Because every community, they don't want to be terrorized by anybody. They rather give you jungle justice to end it all. But the government is supposed to be proactive. <laughs> government supposed to be proactive to stop criminality. They are not. Rather, they are proactive in killing innocent people. <laughs> and if we want to give me an argument, that those people they killed, they are members of fraternity or they are members of um, criminal syndicate or they are part of criminal syndicate, rather. I will tell you, is there no a constitution that says that a criminal must go through judiciary to determine the, you know, to determine the, 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 the punishment that they are going to go through. Is it not in your constitution? Why do you shoot and kill people anyhow if they want to argue that these are criminals? Because there is none of all these people that a Bubago killed that are criminal. Because the people who are fighting crime are communities in Nigeria, in Mbiafra land, rather. Communities are fighting crime while the uniform men are doing crime killing the people fighting crime that is what the uniform men i am just giving you the analogy of fighting criminality or the 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 uniform men fighting criminality or killing innocent people they are not fighting any criminality they are killing innocent people the ones that hold no firearm the ones that are easy for them to shoot the ones that are good citizens that will go out and vote, those are the ones they are killing. The criminals are being fought by communities. They mobilize themselves. <coughs> communities mobilize themselves to fight crime. That's what is going on right now. 
So Ebubayagu is to replace SARS in the eastern region. This was initiative of Devo Mahi because they gave him that initiative. He adopted it because it is him who initiated it in Biafra land. So we call it his initiative. And Devo Mahi and Opus or the they have the same agenda to continue to depopulate you. And the worst part of the depopulation they are doing, they're targeting young men. Young men. Imagine Hope or them are coming out to tell you that though the, the small girl, the less than 15-year-old child, that was uh, that was claimed to be arrested, but rather they kidnapped that child for trafficking. That is a human trafficking and child abuse. Yodevu Umar, he claimed that this child is a member of a syndicate. Or he, she, he claimed that the child is dating a member of a syndicate. If the child is dating a criminal, is it your business, Devu Umar? Tell me in anywhere in your constitution that say that any, anybody that dates a criminal is a criminal. No, tell me where it is written in your constitution. That if you're looking for a criminal, if you don't find them, go and arrest their mother. Is there any law that says that? Because you people will like to come to the media to talk rubbish. Of course, you people are Ill illiterate. You do not have the competency to be in position of leadership. You are saying that less than a 15-year-old child is dating one of a, a member of a, a criminal syndicate. And that is the reason why you arrested that child and you people raped that child and impregnated that child in the DSS custody. And you are you have the audacity to tell us that there, she is she is dating a, a criminal member of a syndicate. Does that make sense? It does not make sense. So because you know she's dating a member of a syndicate, that's why you kidnapped him, her, and instead of taking her where she's supposed to go, if eventually she committed a crime, which is juvenile, she was supposed to be taken to juvenile delinquency or juvenile or whatever you may know it. They were supposed to be taken into juvenile. Children, you know, cell where they will be rehabilitated because they are minor these are minor you cannot take a minor into a custody it is a child trafficking child abuse and impregnating the child in a custody it is a child trafficking against the state of course the human rights I don't see them uh, talking about these things because this is a Biafra child. It is a Biafra child. Where is your juvenile? Or you don't have a nation does not have a juvenile. That it is that you come to justify it that he's dating a criminal. And if he's dating a criminal, arrest the criminal she is dating to save the girl. That's how to do it. Arrest the criminal she is dating to save the child. Because they will always think when they come, you say, you know, how rude, how rude he will present himself. You know, you will know that this is a bandit himself. This is the same reason why ignorance is the reason why a paramount is languishing in the in the in the custody in Britain, in UK. The same ignorant you have. They believe that, you know, they don't know the law. They don't know that what, they don't know what to do that contravenes the law of a, a person or a minor. They don't know it. Because those are a bunch of illiterate that you call leaders. Because he, can, he, he does not know when he is violating you. You might see what he what is happening there as it is, was an arrangement, but you don't know in Western world there is a violation of a state. There is something called violation of the status of that child 
<coughs> because I believe that the status of the child is what that guy violated. That's why he's being remanded where he is. He is being remanded for violation of the status of the child that their organ was supposed to be harvested. Even if you have agreement, what is the status of that child? Why did the child accept your terms and condition? Why is it that, you know, because he has no choice. You are a leader and that's what makes it worse. You are the reason why the child is in poverty. And because the child is in poverty, that's why you now took advantage of the status of the child. That is statutory, statutory violation. You don't know what it is. And that is what Dave Umahi and his DSS people are doing with that child that was pregnant in the DSS facility. That's why I say the men in uniform are killing the innocent, destroying the innocent. Why the communities are mobilizing, fighting criminality? It is plain to see. Very, very simple. You might not understand it, but that is the truth. Take it to the bank and you will bring money home. But bear in mind. Let us bear in mind that we are not boycotting any election in Biafra land. We believe in democracy. We don't fight against democracy. Because democracy is what you do not have in Nigeria. So when you want to play their game, it will work against you. And that is the reason why Mazen Namdekanu never boycotted any election. Ever since he started this journey, he never boycotted any election. So anybody who tells you that they are going to boycott the election is a criminal. He has collected money. He will, you know, but I am, I am, we are, don't worry. Result to Gabon, we are very soon. Result to Gabon, we are very soon. You know, don't look at this, uh, don't look at this baby face. Do not look at this baby face. You don't know me. You don't know me. But we continue to move. We continue to move. Those that are ignorant, look at this baby face. Continue to look at this baby face, you that is ignorant. Continue to look at it. You will be deceived. But very, very important warning. Stop preaching of boycotting of any election in Biafra land. You are killing our people. You are killing our people and jeopardizing the result that we are, we are waiting for. We are waiting for the result of our referendum. And it can only come if these cabals display what they are about to display. It will not only bring referendum. It will make those who never believe in you to believe in you more and more. You will even believe in you more than you, you believe in it. Bear it in mind. Bear it in mind. Do not say, I did not warn you. Do not say, I did not warn you. According to the intel that I have, I am not speaking for the leadership of IPOB. Bear it in mind. I am not speaking for the, anybody for IPOB. I am speaking to you according to the intel I have. I am advising you according to the intel that I have. Do not preach for any boycott of any election. The world is watching the statistics. I told you that the international community is following up. Did I not? I even told you before 28th of June 
bear it in mind. Do not preach for boycotting of any election. If things change, I believe it will come through the leadership. If things change, or if anything, and if there is any eventuality, I believe I will also be around to know. Pay attention to the leadership of this struggle. The leadership of this struggle saved Mazen Namdekano from this Kuje prison break. They saved Mazen Namdekano from this Kuje prison break because the court wanted to push him there because of the long date to November. Bear it in mind. The release of Mazen Namdekano will be like a, a movie. You will be sleeping one day, you wake up, you will hear Mazen Namdekano is released. That is how it is. Nigeria are, is surprised today. The plot to kill him failed. The plot to kill him failed. They know that it is already out there. They did not want to send him there. They put the application for them to sign him there, for IPOB to agree to sign him there to Kuja prison. The, the leadership declined. If they had signed, you know what is going to happen? What was going to happen is that they will invade you. And the reason why they cannot push it as the DSS and the government cabals of Nigeria, because they know that we've been pushing it, they refuse. Why all of a sudden they will push it? And of course, they, the plan to invade DSS is already at hand. For you to see how their plan is coming and failing. Coming and failing. Coming and I didn't hear this from any leadership or anybody connected to this truck. I heard it from my intel. I heard it from my intel. And my intel is never wrong. If you check the information I gave you on the, a week before the court date, it was accurate. It was accurate. What I am telling you right now, <coughs> do a fact check on it. Do a fact check on it. Don't come to make noise on social media. Don't come to say, this baby face, this small boy. I'm no longer a small boy. I'm a father of three. But I have a baby face. So if you try me, you might, be, you might get hurt. You might be looking at the face and say, this is a small boy. Yeah. You will get hurt. That's the way it is. But... I believe I am going to leave it here. If I have time in the evening again, we are coming to the bong some activities of the enemies in the house, the infiltrator. But for now, until we meet again, stay safe and stay informed. And don't forget, do not preach the boycotting of any election in Biafra land. We are not interfering in that shenanigan. That shenanigan is what is going to give us a pathway to what we are looking for. That shenanigan that they are going to present in 2023. Take it or leave it. If you like, think otherwise. Ezokuna wa wananti and nyawe zokudindo kangezi gezi mozin zendindo. That is your good in the Kangeziki. He like ya itiniana, be like you mafuya. Na bagi. Na bagi. Oto anno na where I am. Omu walu le bembi. Yotago. This e ba anna rolo. Omu wang mwye. Omu wang mwye mwye anna azuya. Oda wada wana oda wapu wapu wapu. If enke mebo. Mchokru no zo. Ebe ga haba mwona my family. Poko te mwo wane. Ajeno lo dia. And when you forget what you are doing, when you forget what you are doing, not them. If I, that I am doing what I am doing here is because I love myself and I love my land. I love myself. I am not part of those who hate themselves anymore. That is the reason why I am doing what I am doing. It is not because I am a beggar. 
<laughs> I am not. I am helping you. I am helping you. That is it. But I know that some of you that are very, very ignorant, you are too ignorant that you cannot even understand even when your helper is right in front of you. You cannot understand it because of your ignorance. Believe you me, because of your ignorance. You never ask yourself, why can I? I don't work for anybody. I'm an entrepreneur. How can I be in the office? I will spend more time. I can go home late in order to broadcast. That is a comfort place, comfortable place <coughs> that I have that I can talk to you. So, most important thing that I am telling you is something that is going to help you. It is going to help you. And those that, are, that believe that are speaking your mind, that talk, tell you that they are spokesperson, ask them, when Mazen Nam the Kano was speaking your mind, was speaking for you, was speaking on your behalf, ask them, how, you know, what type of car is Mazen Nam the Kano driving? Ask them, ever since Mazen Nam the Kano know that he was handling finance, what type of car did he buy? What type of uh, luxurious life is he living? That's what the first thing you need to ask them. Then you will differentiate those who is speaking for you and those who is speaking for their pockets. Because if I declare, if I am, if I tell you now that in, in the absence of Mazen Nam the Khan, that I am replacing Mazen Nam the Khan, I need to live in his footstep. I cannot exploit you, take money from you, and go and buy myself a nice car. I have nice cars. The reason why I can tell you I have nice cars, because you have. I am not taking money from you. I'm a businessman. I'm an entrepreneur. So as it is, as we are talking, <laughs> these things are not my problem. The people who is exploiting you, taking money from you, they must be held accountable. Any place you are putting your money, they must be held accountable. That is to show you leadership is not supposed to be a bed of roses. It is not supposed to be a place where people get rich into. Leadership is a place where people strive in order to thrive. You must suffer in order to win because you need to be up and running. You need to be proactive. You need to make sure that those who is, you know, who depend on you to be represented, they are represented. Not when they are giving you small, small things. They, they are hard in. You use it and go and make your life comfortable. And you will come online every day to be making noise. No, that is not leadership. Um, did, you, did you ever hear that Mazen Namdekano is driving a nuka? Have you ever heard it? No. Use this... <laughs> Use Mazen Nam the Kano and judge those who are telling you that they are spokesperson and they are speaking for you. Use it and judge those. That is very a fact that you can never run away from. These things are something that you've been running away from. You don't want to emphasize on it. You don't want to talk about it. Because you, your biggest fear is the truth. The biggest fear of a black man is being able to decode the truth and expose it before them. So any day I start telling you that now I am a spokesperson, I am a leader now, I am this and that, you should start monitoring my lifestyle to know if it is worth it. To know if I am exploiting you. To know where I am right now. To know where I will be in the next few months. To know if I am being a leader and a spokesperson for my pocket to be pregnant. Or am I being that for, for your own safety or for the benefit of you? Or am I, am I, you know, you need to know the intentions. Very important. Until we meet again.
Stay safe and stay informed because my time is up. Bye for now. Mazi, see you too. I see you on YouTube. I see you on YouTube. Greetings. Greetings. Um, well, I know very soon we will very soon we will come together one more time. I I see you and I know I know you are missing the program. Very soon we will come back together. I am actually working on something. That is the reason why I am not I am not like this. I am very, very busy working on something. So I'm just squeezing time into my time just to do this. Because, but very, very soon we will come back to normal normalcy. Um, please uh, bear, bear with me. Bear with me. Um, great beer friends all over the world. We are bringing this program to an end. Great people of, of Africa, we are bringing this program to an end. Until we meet again, make sure you stay safe, stay informed. Revolution is taking place. Allow that revolution to click in. Don't interrupt it. Make sure you don't interrupt it. Don't be the one that don't make us to be blamed for the failure of the ignorant. Bye.